Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Hamdog Hype, and welcome back to the channel. So, today we'll be opening up the other Paradox Rift, which is the Roaring Moon box. Uh, I did start with the original Iron Valiant box, but I was really excited to open this one up just because I am a bigger fan of the ancient Pokemon, and this one has a Screamtail promo. Same nine packs, but basically a different promo and different sleeves. We will use the Iron Valiant sleeves from the first ETB in this box just because I kind of want to save the Roaring Moon ones for now. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this box. So it basically, it, you have two boxes now for the set, which isn't super common. Usually base set does that, but it's very rare for a non-base set box or base set set to do that actually. So this is one of the very few sets I've seen there's two different boxes for. Obviously you had that in Evolutions, but you know, that's an older one for sure. But if you guys recall any uh, that you remember, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, as I was predicted, the inside art is the same. So I'm not gonna really go through that too much. Uh, the book is essentially just like the, um, basically the Iron Valiant one. So we're not gonna really go through that. If we need to reference any the book for any like rarities, I'll do that. But for now, I'm not really interested in that. And then basically the box has different artwork on the inside uh, for that. And then you have the same nine packs. And then we have a code card somewhere here. So this, oh, that's actually, this is the, the promo, the Screamchild promo, which looks kind of ridiculous, honestly. Uh, I am more a fan of the ancient Pokemon, but Screamtail is definitely not one of the ones I'm a fan of. Here's the code card. I do try to give out half the code cards in the video, and then I save half of them for the Instagram. So if you're interested in trying to get some of these off of, like, you know, just free code cards and just following me for news and updates, I have a link in the description for my Instagram. It's really unique, though. So this pack, I guess this trainer, early trainer box says Roaring Moon on it. I wonder... If the other one said Roaring Moon, they do not. They just say Paradox Rift. Interesting. So just the Elite Trainer box. Here are the really cool ass leaves. And of course, you have your energies on or whatnot. I'm not gonna really go through that too long, too much longer. I kind of just want to get right into these uh, packs. We're gonna zoom in just a little bit. It kind of focuses in on this promo a lot better. Wow, this is a really actually, it's a derpy looking promo. I'm not a huge fan of Screamtail, but it's a pretty cool looking promo considering that that's probably its ancient environment. So maybe in, in the DLC, they'll kind of go over that. Speaking of DLC, it's out in like less than a month, which is pretty awesome. Anyways, and this is the second part, obviously. But anyways, this is our first pack of this video. So hopefully we can pull at least one of those Chase card Roaring Moons or the uh, Goldengo card. That'd be awesome. So here we go. Just want to adjust the camera just a little bit. So it's a little easier to see. Anyways, we have an Energy, a Gibble, Fanport, Blitzel, Bond Suite, Garbodor, a future, a booster energy capsule, a Screamtail, nice, that's actually not a hollow, interestingly enough, but it's an ancient card. We got a Purloin, a Miltank, <gasps> no way! We got the Garchomp EX, this is not like the super expensive one, but this is a really, really rare one too. This is actually the double rare, I think, variant, I forget what it's called, but wow, we actually pulled an EX right off the bat. Uh, actually, we are gonna look into the guy because I want to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So let me just square this a little bit more. Yeah, so you can see this better. So based off the guy, this is technically, I think a, I think it's a, I don't think it's a hyper rare or a secret rare. But if you go in the guide, guidebook essentially, you can see what the rarities are. And that, that's an, it's actually an ultra rare, but it's not the one we're, we're like chasing after. We're actually chasing after, I'll show you it's, uh, where to go? I know it's on one of these pages. Yeah, it's this one. This one I think is the one that's worth like a bunch of money right now. So I would really like to get that one. Ironically enough, like I don't really go for the cards that have the most money ever, but that Garchomp, this Water Terror type, is the exact one I used in my rating. So I actually really like this form of the the mon the, the Pokemon. So that's why I'm actually looking for that one. But if you ever want to raid, you can always join my live streams when I am streaming Scarlet and Violet. And you can always join me for raids if I'm doing the, that stream. Usually I do shiny hunts. Anyways, we wasted a lot of time with that one pack and that opening. So let's go ahead. It's already been like five minutes in this video. We only opened one pack. So well, let's kind of steamroll through these next two packs. I just wasn't expecting to open up an EX right away. So very weird. Here's a code card for you guys. And then we have an energy. Flamigo, Porygon. I hope this is on, these cards aren't tilted on the screen. They feel very tilted to me for some reason. Vanellux, a Zatu Reverse, a Hone Edge Reverse, and another Palkia. We actually opened up, we got a Palkia on the, in the first ETB actually. So we're doubling up on Hollows now, which is to be expected once you start opening up like 10 to 15 packs. Anyways, 
This is the third pack of this video. It's got an Iron Valiant artwork. Again, I, I did play through Pokemon Violet mainly, actually only, I think, on my live stream, and even regularly, but I do like the Paradox Pokemon from Scarlet much, much more. So, really hoping to pull some Scarlet ones, and this is an Iron Bundle, which is from the Violet version. And we have a Wimpod, we got a Norman, and then we got a Deoxys uh, Hollow. I don't think I pulled that from the first ETB opening. Sorry, this camera is really, really bothering me for some reason. It just does not seem like it's centered at all for some reason. I, I don't know why. So I really apologize if the cards look like they're tilted. They look tilted to me for some reason, and I don't know why. Anyways, this is, I think, the fourth pack of this video, which is a Roaring Moon. So, oh, I can definitely have this pack does not want to be opened for some reason. All right, let's see. The screen kill is just falling back there, so I'm going to ignore that just for the sake of opening this up faster. Code card for you guys. Let's see what we got. We got an Energy, Vanillaite, Charcadet, Swablu, Panseer, Defiant, Defiant's Vest, Durant, Tech Machine, a, a Tinglu, Reverse, sorry. I don't know what I was going to call a Tlu for some reason. Hey, another Mantike. Wow. So we, we, we actually pulled this from the first box. So we doubled up on the basically the illustration rares. So just so you know, it's an illustration rare. It has the, the gold star on the bottom. And it's a secret rare with a gold star. A, a two gold stars means it's a special illustration rare. And if you ever see three gold stars, that just means it's a hyper rare. I usually, I think those are only like the gold cards themselves, actually. And we got a Evolt all at the end. So we'll sleeve that. So yeah, that's our second Mantike already, interestingly enough. I did buy another binder, so hopefully I can, I'll put some like extra Ultra Rares in there or something like that, just so they don't kind of like collect dust somewhere else. Anyways, I think this is gonna be the fifth pack and halfway through this video after this one. These packs are, these now these are getting really tight. Like they're getting a lot harder to open. They're just like really damaged for some reason. Not damaged, but they're like, they have a lot of whitening on the side for some reason. Anyways, we have Pantsier, Minum, Snorunt, Naklastak, Orbeetle, Cloth, cool. Love that shiny version of Cloth. We have a Dotler, a Natu, and then nice, we got another Iron Moth. I think I actually pulled this one already, so I won't sleeve it up again. So very cool. Anyways, uh, this is the sixth pack, I think. And it is a Garchomp Water Terror type. So again, we are searching for that super expensive version. So hopefully we will get it in this opening. Let's see, last opening we got two illustration rares and two EXs, so that was nice. And I think we also got a full art. Wiglet, nice. I think that's the first Wiglet we pulled. I already pulled a Wug Trio, actually another Wug Trio. Here we go. Techno Radar, Stinny, a Joltik Reverse, a Fue Coco Reverse, nice. And then a Wotion, so I don't, I don't think I pulled that from the first video. Fue Coco was my starter. Looks like that's the only starter that's Featured in this set, actually. Um, I, don't, I don't remember seeing Quaxley or Spiritago in this yet. Spir or Spirigacado. I don't even know how to say that. Or, I don't know if I'm to be honest. Anyways, this will be the seventh pack of this video, which is a Iron Valiant artwork. Yeah, these packs are just so tightly packaged for some reason. Can't seem to open them very easily. Anyways, we got an Energy, Mantike, Pantsage. Minum, Dewblade, Earthworm, Professor Toros Scenario, Mainshell, a Tulip, and then a Flittle Reverse, and then a Yivatol Reverse. So we're doubling up now on a lot of the hollows. Second to last pack, this is the Roaring Moon Art, and the eighth pack of this video. I do like that they give you nine packs now in standard ETV. Uh, the price definitely has jacked up though, since they did that. Um, these were like $55 at Walmart. I think I bought this for $50 at a game store, so that was nice. Energy, Vanillaite, Oracorio, Swablu, Pantsir, Toad's Cruel. Oh, Slitherwing, ancient version. Okay, cool, that's the first one we pulled there. A technical machine, a reverse of a Gibble, a reverse of a Magby, really cool artwork. And then another Iron Moth, what is going on? We're just really, really doubling up on stuff now. Anyways, this will be the last pack of the video. I think it's, that's the Armor Rouge. If I can just pull the Armor Rouge, I can, or the screw wedge, I can tell you which it is. I think it's an armor rouge. And I think I saved way too many cook cards for the gram, so here's one, another one for you guys. 
to end this video. So we have an energy, mill tank, wind pod, plusle, tandem mouse, Rika, Gorgeist, Professor Sada, an iron bundle future. What is that? That's a reverse. Wow. So you can get the reverses in the Paradox Pokemon, interestingly enough. A nimble. And no way an iron hands EX. Double rare. Very, very cool. Iron Hands is probably one of my favorite from this uh, Violet series, just because he is such a beast when raiding. But very cool way to end this video with a reverse of one, and then of course the Iron Iron Hands EX. We did pull another EX actually with the Garchomp EX, and then of course we doubled up on the Illustration Rares with a Mantai, and then of course we got this awesome, awesome promo. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more Paradox Drift. And we got a lot of Pokemon stuff to open up. I got some Crown Zenith, Scarlet Violet 151, just a lot of stuff I got to open up for Pokemon in the future. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.